Hey everybody, it's Alina. I am going live from my computer, so this is a little weird. I hope this all works out because I do want to show you a little bit more about the information on this Heart and Hustle Challenge. And I'm gonna be looking at this on my phone. Hopefully I can see comments and likes and things like that. Like I said, this is the first time I'm going live from my computer, so this is all new to me on how this works. So if you comment and I don't say anything, I apologize, I'll get back and um, address your questions or your comments after we're done. So I wanted to come on live here and answer some questions about this Heart and Hustle Challenge and actually give you a little more information about it. Basically what it is, it's a challenge that is going to help you stay focused on business building activities instead of getting to um, getting sidetracked basically with shiny objects. So let me show you what this whole heart and hustle challenge is. And hopefully you see my screen. I have um, I have enlarged this big time so that you can see it, but if you still don't see it, just turn your phone sideways and you should see it okay. All right, so for February of this year, and this is actually something that I'm going to start providing for new reps, so it teaches them right from the very start what to focus on to build their business. And again, guys, if you're coming in, say hi. Let's, let me see how these comments actually work. So, and by the way, this is delayed by like six or seven seconds, and it's just really weird. Anywho, all right, so the very first thing on this Heart and Hustle Challenge is your personal development. Personal development is like huge when you're trying to build a business. Any successful person will tell you that their secret to success is basically personal development. So you wanna make sure to be engaging with personal development on a daily basis. The first thing that we have on here is a gratitude journal. You don't necessarily have to have a gratitude journal, but it is another one of those ways that will help you really get into a great state of mind before you start working your business. So this is kind of the process that I've been using for the whole month of January, and it's been really paying off. So here, if you end up doing the, your gratitude journal, you get a point. That's the, the max that you can get with a gratitude journal. Then personal development, 30 minutes, whether that is audio, whether that is a book, that's fine. However you do your personal development is fine. If it's less than 30 minutes, you would get zero points in this category. If you do 30 minutes or more, then you get one point. If you need suggestions on what books to read and that kind of stuff, we have it in our team resources. So make sure to go take a look at that um, for some suggestions on what you should be reading. However, if you're a brand new rep, I do highly recommend the book GoPro by Eric Worre. That is kind of like your manual for network marketing. Next thing on this list is live broadcasting. I know that there is like a huge fear with live broadcasting. I'm feeling it right now. I'm getting better at it, but it is one of those things that this the camera looking at me just kind of makes me start sweating and things. I don't even know where I'm wearing a jacket right now, honestly. So I'm gonna take this off because I'm already sweating. <laughs> so anyway, um, live broadcasting is just a way for you to really get more eyes on you. To, it's a way for you to build, um, build better relationships with people in the sense that when you see people on video, you feel like you're hanging out with them. And with that, they start building this like relationship with you. They start trusting you depending on the information that you're providing to them. And they're getting to know you. And people, people normally do business with people that they like, know, and trust. So you want to be that person. You want to be exposing yourself out there to people and helping them in certain ways. Now, I'm not telling you that every single live that you do is about wine. I mean, you should do a live unboxing to show people your excitement, show people the labels that you're receiving on a monthly basis. That is one of my... Um, lives that I will do every single month is a live unboxing to show people what I'm getting to build some excitement on that. Other things that you can consider is just talk about ways that things that you have found that have improved your life in some way. So that's what you want to do a live video on. You can also do a video to motivate someone, right? So if they're, if, if you know about health and fitness goals like I do, for example, I can come on live to motivate people about how they should continue to to stay with those fitness goals even though we're at the end of January, like for them to refocus and give them some motivation on that kind of stuff. 
So think about things you can motivate people on, think, things that you can share that have made your life easier. And of course, from time to time, bring in a live video about wine. Again, I know that this is one of those really hard to do things for a lot of people. So what I want you to focus on is to do at least three of them. And they have to for the entire month. If you can do more, that's even better. But I want you to focus on at least three of them. And then um, it has to be on your Facebook page or on your business page, either one of the two. If you do a live video within a group like what I'm doing right now, that doesn't necessarily count. So if we're doing a perfect world here, February 1st, I've, I've done everything. I've done my gratitude journal. I've done my personal development for 30 minutes. I even went live and I got three points. Now let's get into prospecting because aside from branding yourself and showing people that you're a person that they should like, know, and trust, you want to prospect people. So part of that, you need to add at least two people to your network every single day. Now there is no maximum here, so you can add five people and get five points, but if you add one person, you would get one point here, or, or no points, sorry. Here you would get no points if you were to only add one person to your network, and that's just going to a Facebook profile of somebody that you know. I'm sure you have a ton of people out there that you know personally, but don't have them as friends on Facebook. That's where you can start. We also have a memory jogger within our team resources, and it has a bunch of questions in there for you to, to help you get your memory going to see who can you find on Facebook to add to expose them to what you're doing. So again, if you add one person, you get zero points. If you add two people, you get two points. And if you add five people or 20 people or whatever, then you would get that many points. However, you gotta be careful. I would recommend no more than five people a day because you don't wanna go to Facebook jail and then not be able to um, you know, kind of run your business on Facebook because Facebook does not like that you're sp being spammy and just adding a bunch of people on Facebook. So be careful about that. Do two to five every single day. The next one is you want to start new conversations with people. And that's more of a matter of just saying, hey, you know, how are you doing? That's it. And let people respond back to that. You can, that's where you start forming people. And forming start, stands for family, occupation, recreation, and message. So you want to talk about their family. You want to talk about what their occupation is, um, uh, about their uh, recreation. What do they do for fun? And then you do your message. So if you get into the part about occupation and you ask them like, hey, where are you working these days? and they tell you you know where they're working and then they ask you obviously acknowledge what they said don't make it all about you and then say something like oh i recently became a wine rep i'm having so much fun i get wine delivered to my door and then ask them a question to bring the focus back on them if they want more information trust me they will ask you and if not that's okay keep building that relationship and like two days later go back to that person and be like Hey, do you by chance know anybody who likes wine? You're not asking if they like wine. It's kind of like an indirect way to ask them if they like wine, but you're not saying, hey, do you like wine? You're asking, do, do you know someone who likes wine? And most of the time they'll say, yes, I actually love wine. And then you can ask, you know, I'm looking for um, people to join my team to earn more money. It depends which route you want to go, whether you think, that person should you both you should focus more with that person on the club membership or if you should focus with them on the representative side kind of go with your gut feeling on that on what you should represent but ask them do you want me to send you more information on it and then you send them a third party tool like a video i have a video for the club membership side and i have a representative side you can use those videos to send to your prospects and then follow up with them afterwards so those are how the progression of your conversation should go. So let's say I started two new ones and those were just a simple, hi, how are you? If I sent that message, I, I have a point. But remember, if you do one, you get zero. But if you do two conversations or more and there's no max here, then you would get two points. And then you want to invite people to learn more about your opportunity. Now, you can't just start, if you haven't been talking to people, you can't do this on the first day right unless somehow they say hey yeah send me some more information as you're talking about what their occupation may be 
At that point, yes, then you can probably say, hey, do you want me to send you more information? And that's how you're inviting people to learn more. If you invite someone to a wine tasting, that's another way to um, you know, invite someone. So do a max here of 15. And the reason why I put such a high number to and why I even set a max to begin with is because if you're not running a Facebook ad that's get, getting a crazy amount of comments, you should not be inviting more than 15 people a day to learn more about your opportunity because then you're, that tells me that you're not taking the time to actually form a relationship with them and you're going straight in for the sale and that's not what you wanna do. So um, three people minimum here, if you invite one or two people, you're getting a zero. But if you invite three or more, then you get a three up to 15. Next thing is your business building, right? Out of all these things that we just did, we did personal development, we've done marketing, we've done prospecting. Out of all those things, have you gotten a club member out of it? If you did, you get three points for each club member. And if you get a business partner to join you, so if you bring in a representative, then you get five points for each of those people. Now your month, your daily goal is a 10. As you saw here, if I did the very ba the very minimum that I'm recommending here, if you do every single one of them, including adding a club member and adding a business partner, I got 20 points. So it really shouldn't be that difficult, even if you got zeros here, you still go over by 12. So yes, I wanna challenge you to go a little bit over what these minimums are, right? I don't want you to just kind of do the bare minimum and expect for you to build the momentum. You do wanna do this every single day as much as possible. I'll be honest, there'll be days where my live broadcasting says zero, but then I have a Facebook ad, so I have been inviting people after I get to a certain point in my script that I use where I tell people, if you if I sent you a 15 minute video, would you watch it? That's my person, you know, that I've invited to the opportunity. So I've kind of I kind of go through all these things and then your till goal that just tells you if you're in a negative number, you've reached your goal. And then this will automatically turn to yes or a no. So that's really cool. And what I like to do is when I hit yeses, I like to come in here and change my background to green. And then when I hit no's, which hopefully I don't have that many no's where I didn't reach my goals, then it's kind of like a pinkish red. So that's how I use this. I really do recommend you guys that you get into this challenge because this is really what's going to help you focus on your business building activities if you truly want to build momentum into your um, business then this is what you need to do this is what i was doing for january and i'm going to show you mine real quick and i know that it's not it's it's really really small so you're not going to see um see it very well but here there was days where i didn't i had zeros for invites i had three fours look how i started then i had my facebook ad and i had 16 12 3 34 I mean, this was because I had a Facebook ad. I was talking to that many people a day where I was inviting them to um, look at my video. So there was days where I had 34 or 35. So, but after doing this, I said, you know, unless people are having a Facebook ad, there's just no way that they would be doing that without just sending the invite first and not getting to know the person. So as you can see, you know, I did my gratitude journal. There were a few days here and there where I missed my gratitude journal. Um, there was a day or two where I missed personal development. This that I was doing here is extra training, which gave me um, some extra points. But guys, I hustled. I hustled in January, and I brought in three reps within the month of January. So actually four reps within the month of January, which is just amazing. And I've created momentum into my business, and people are messaging me now, hey, tell me more about this wine business. It's because I'm creating that momentum. But look, for the longest time here in January, I didn't, even though I started this January 1st, and I started kind of doing more and more and more as I, as I went, um, it wasn't until January 20th that I sponsored my first rep. So it is gonna take a little bit of time for you to see some results. Please do not expect to do this challenge and within two or three days, you have people knocking at your door to join you know, or messaging you since we're in the social media world. So it does take time to build it. I'm just asking you to please be consistent with it. 
as you can see here, I did 13 no's days where I did not meet my goals. And the, but there was 17 days where I have met my goal. So um, just make sure that you are aiming for having more no's or having more yeses than no's on days where you complete and get your daily goal of 10. And then there's like um, over here to the right, I have where it tallies up your monthly um, points. So that is it. If you want to join this challenge, which I highly recommend that you do, uh, please let me know and I will build you a tab on here. As you can see, I already have tabs for some of the girls that have already told me, yes, I'm into this challenge. So let me create you a tab. I'll create a link for you within our team resources where, so let me come in here. You'll see it right here. So these are, are the ones that have already said I'm doing the challenge. So I can create your link directly here, which will take you directly to whatever your tab is. And this is just a way for me to kind of see what's going on, right? Because I want to help you and I want to see what your business building activities have been. Because if you're not building, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to see why more than likely. So it's just a way to keep us accountable. If for some reason you don't want me to keep you accountable, then you can go ahead and just copy everything you see here, paste it into a new Google document for you, and then you can keep track of it that way. So that is all I have, you guys. If you have if you have any questions, sorry, I thought I was you were looking at me the entire time and I was sharing my screen. But if you have any questions, let me know. Again, I'm going live on my computer, so I have no idea if anybody's commented or anything like that. So I will get to the comments as soon as I can. But that is it. All right. Have an awesome rest of your day, guys. Love ya. Bye.